Hey guys, so today's project, I'm just going to be widening this flatter bit a bit to where you see where the green rod is. Um, the pathway is narrow going towards the vegetable garden and then going back towards the new garden space that I'm creating. It widens a bit, so I kind of want to make it the same width across. And I'm going to do that by widening this flower bed a bit. I have some perennials that I could add. Um, I might add some butterfly bushes, but I do have some pink perfusion salvia right there. And I still have annuals in this bed that are doing great. So green, even though it's been hit with frost a few times and we've had snow. Um, I have some on this side too. I think it's pink cashmere. Superbina and it's an annual in this area but they haven't died back completely all the way so I'm gonna maybe cut those back a little bit and protect them a little bit more with some leaves but we're gonna go ahead and widen this flower bed and add some perennials so let's go ahead and get started so first thing I'm gonna do is just move the original edging to the green markers so where the green stake is that's where the original edge of the flower bed was and where the bark the um well that's actually a wild grapevine that I was using for the edge. Um that's where the new edge of the flower bed's gonna be, so I'm gonna go ahead and start planting. So right now it's actually 51 degrees. It was raining, like a little shower came through, but it wasn't much. And yesterday we were supposed to get snow and freezing rain, but it just really just rained. So we didn't get any of that. And I managed to get poison ivy on my face from the last project I did. Not really sure how I did that. So, kind of going to try to stay off camera a bit. Not that I normally show myself too much anyways, but end up getting poison ivy on my face. So, I just want to clear up, clean this area just a little bit, get the leaves out so I can set the plants down. So I'm actually going to dig up this Russian sage and move it where the other two are. It was a straight line going down, but I'm going to move that right there. Glass. So, one, two, three. Denim and lace rush, Russian sage in that area. So, I was overwintering some Pugster amethyst butterfly bushes inside the vegetable garden. So, I have three of them. I'm going to plant three in this area. And this area has some um, irises in there. Reblooming irises. Peggy Sue. It's in this area along with some other different color pink irises. But mostly 
Um, these butterfly bushes are going to be up against some pink irises. So, got two more I need to get in the ground. And I'm just going to plant it like in a triangle pattern. And this is the third butterfly pugster amethyst going in. A little bit of soil conditioner. So I'm going to cut back some of this salvia so it's a little bit easier to work with. And probably should have already been cut back. And I'm just going to dig a few holes, do a, just a drift down through this area. Picking up the roots a bit and tucking it in.
So the project is complete. I've added 12 more perennials to this bed. I have six pink perfusion salvia. I added two daisies from the Proven Winners line. I can't remember which what they're called, but two daisies, three butterfly bushes, and I've added some sedum that I took out another um, took from another part of this flower bed. I thought I would do better over here. So overall, I think the project turned out great. And expanding this bed, I did have to move the superbina, the annuals to over here because they're in the way when I was planting the salvia. I'm probably going to cover those up with leaves to see if they survive to spring. Um, but overall, everything looks great. Thank you guys for joining me. Catch you on the next one. Bye.